All right, so where I grew up continues, and this is just the other side of the building. I used to live in apartment six, which you probably can't really see all that well in the frame, but I'll probably get a more elaborate video about this eventually. But yeah, right here on the intersection of San Vicente and Hauser. This is literally where my life started, my childhood started on this corner. And this wasn't always here. It used to be a Shell gas station, this area here. Okay, right around, I wanna say, I wanna say 1987, about the late 80s, they put in this uh, little plaza right here. The oldest shop in this plaza is the shoe repair shop. In fact, the guy, <laughs> Grigor, I went to uh, middle school with his son. He wants me to come in. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I went to middle school with his son. Hey! Good to see you. How are you? Yes. How are you? Hey. Sorry, I'm like filming myself talking about Good. the neighborhood. Why not? Why not? <laughs> yeah. You can. You see who is out? Ah, yeah. Look at all these faces. Which one you point to? The princess. One. The princess. Ah, of course. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of accomplished people have come here. Because you're the oldest one here. Oh, here we go. Jimmy Kimmel's been here. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Yes. Good to see you, my friend. Yes. Been here for a long time. Yeah. Long time. So that's what I love about this place, you know? It's some people have stayed here for years, some people have moved on, so it's nice to connect to the past a little bit. This intersection has kind of gone through some changes too. Um, if you come over this way, it's now yummy.com, but it used to be Rings Market. <laughs> And then there wasn't always, you notice how we have the bus, we've got the metro here now. There wasn't always a metro coming up San Vicente. In fact, um, I don't know if my mom was a part of the movement or if somebody else was a part of the movement to get buses running along San Vicente. Because this bus has not been running up here for very long. Probably about, I want to say maybe 10 years, maybe a little less. Um, but yeah, now there's a bus that runs, it goes all the way to West Hollywood and it comes uh, all the way, actually it goes all the way to downtown Los Angeles, the number 30. So yeah, and then um, right over here. So the 7-Eleven has been there for a long time. It's been there since I was a kid. They now have a Taekwondo joint. That wasn't always a Taekwondo joint. That used to be a laundry mat. We actually had two laundry mats. We have the one that's over there, right next to the cleaners. Still there, still working and all that. And then you have the one where the Taekwondo place is at. And then that subway, okay, that subway used to be Baskin Robbins. I used to go there all the time for my ice cream. I used to love Baskin Robbins. That was my place. Calm down. But um, in fact, here's a cool little story. When I used to live in the building there, I used to get on the phone, people would call me late at night. There's only a few people that remember this, but I used to tell them to hold on so that I would walk out and go to the 7-Eleven to get a snack and then come back in and continue talking on the phone. There's very few people that remember this, okay? Some of you are in my Facebook friends list, but um, that's what I used to do. And in fact, one of those people remembers this parking lot because we had a very interesting moment in this parking lot while sitting in the car. Right here. That's all I'll say on that. This is where I grew up. <laughs> 